Let them lies. But you gotta make it, cause you gotta preach it, that's every time. Yo guys, Sid Dog here, coming at you with a quick tutorial and obviously and to the fact that I'm on my Xbox 360 I'm going to do a very quick tutorial on how you can get a mod menu set up now obviously the very obvious disclaimer for that matter that obviously you'd already need to be earned and purchased earn and purchase a modded 360 now let's just go for the logical approach so obviously now because I'm currently using Aurora Obviously, I've got my, a different layout on obviously how I would get to where I need to go. But for the guys who don't, obviously you just go to game, then obviously my games, and then XEX menu and look for dash launch. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Now I've got to remember where mine is. There you are. So we're going to come straight into there and click that, and it's going to update and load. So obviously here we are in Dash Launch. Now before I go anywhere, because the obvious point in to make is obviously you need to download it from somewhere. Now of course I've already got mine. So obviously now I've had to do a bit of a hunt because I'm going to use Matrix Mod Menu as an example. Obviously you can search on Google or YouTube and whatnot for obviously any menu you wish. Now for peace of mind I'm going to throw this in the description. So it's just ease of access for anyone who needs it. So obviously in terms of how you do it itself, so go to plugins. Now of course as you can see I've already got the shake menu set up so what I'm going to do, um, come back out of there, obviously now via the Call of Duty it covers, so we're going to just bosh matrix in there. Now what I'm going to do, because I'm also curious at the same time how it's going to work, and if it will work for that matter, so HDD whenever you decide to open. There we go. Then, obviously, I've got mine organised. Go into mod menus, and obviously, Modern Warfare 2, and we're going to bash on the shake menu at the same time. And then, obviously, once you've done that, you think, right, how do you do it? Press RB on. Nope. Nope. No. And that will come bottle completely. Right, take two. Try this again. Because that just completely went one. But basically, I don't know why it didn't react, but you press RB and then press X on HDD to save um, your, obviously your change of plugin. So let's just rinse and repeat this, and apologies because I don't know why it delayed it and I pressed the wrong button. So, into there, into there. <coughs> Try this again. Okay, so they've pre fingered from there because it's not rebooted. So uh, that's how you want to press RB and then HDD. You would then press X on your controller and press B to back out. Now, it's obviously confirm and ensure that it's going to work. What we're going to do right now, we're going to press and hold the Xbox button and turn off the console, and then we're going to reboot it to ensure that it's obviously confirmed that that change is there. New terminal, yep. I can turn it back on. And give it a minute. Obviously, if it's an RGH, it might take a minute, it might take a few minutes.
Might be here a while. In point it's worth, I will quickly see you in a minute when this decides to reboot, so we'll be right back when it boots, if I can show you what's next. So, uh, hi guys, we're back, obviously you can see it's loaded, obviously I know I don't have access, it has popped up saying that the menu is loaded as it's booted, so we can guarantee that works. So what we're going to do is go back onto the account, and yes I keep meaning to change the name of that, and then obviously I've got the disk in at the moment, so we're going to hold on launch. Just to see if the disc will work, and if not, I'll run it off the hard drive as I do have it there. So far, it seems to be I took it sweet time to load. And my next question is the simple audacity because we're not online. I don't know if, obviously, because the pre, not being online, the pre menu is not shown. So, we'll just have to see if it works. And if not, I'll run it on the hard drive and see if that'll work. Team Deathmatch, show no mercy. Just quit that. Now, what I'm going to typically do is just let the console reboot and see if it makes a difference. Um, don't recall pressing that. That's what I wanted. So, we're going to reboot the console very quickly and then see if we can run it off the hard drive and see if it'll work. Apologies, I, I do apologise for a long-winded video because I think it's been to be quite straightforward um, in regards, obviously, getting it up and running. Obviously, the first time I'm trying to do it offline with not having myself running, so... Just give it a minute and it'll pop up and you'll see that it's loaded. And it could, honestly, it could be my disk that's not working properly. Right, so I can turn that back on. I always like to wait for the fans to stop before, you know, obviously turning it back on. Now that's obviously coming straight away, which is nice.
Lovely, it's come up saying I've got no access, that's expected. And obviously it's come up saying authenticated. So I'm going to try the hard drive. I've got a clean version of the game. because I've got two versions of the game, simply because one of them has files in um, the game itself to run a mod menu, whereas um, I've got another one that's clean purely for plugins. So we're going to try the plugin one first. And see if it works because I did specifically name it for Matrix and Shake menu because I was trying to work out how to run it at the same time. So if you bear with me, I will find it and yeah. There you are. Now comes looking for the default MP. Make my life easy. Go straight to it. Be a fast boot. Try the one what's on the hard drive itself, simply because I know that'll work. I don't know why these aren't working. Now, push comes to show, obviously, I know there's another menu of what's working against the files. It's more trying to get Matrix to show that it's working. So let's just go back through file manager because I can navigate this properly and it's a little easier to, you know, know which one I'm running off, especially if it's more than one copy. Obviously I've got mine under games. No, there you are. And then on there. As you see, I've, like I said, I've already got a different menu now. Okay. Okay, so Matrix menu and Jake menu are both at the same time. That's something. works out of memory yeah, sure. we getting an outward memory error. I don't understand that. At all. Anyway, you can see the free menu working, which I don't understand why it's giving it the whole oh you can't work blah, blah, blah. It's very strange. But anyway guys, obviously I do hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and until then guys I'll see you in the next video and because peace.